Thank you so much for joining Emily Davis Designs, DIY Projects, and Reviews today. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I am going to be having a family reunion in the middle of July, and I am going to be creating um, keychain inserts for that family reunion. So um, let's get into it. Items used, scissors, photo paper, inkjet printer, Canva platform, acrylic, and sortable keychains. I am not sponsored by any of the products that I'm using in this video. With that being said, I am going to be using Canva. If you don't know what Canva is, Canva is a free graphic design platform. You can create a multitude of graphic designs ranging from business cards, flyers, social media posts, t-shirt designs, and much, much more. I'm going to be using the brand MTLEE -E, acrylic, acrylic acetable keychains today and um, I will have a separate review of this product on a, a different video and also the link will be in the description box if you want to um, get this product and the photo paper I'm going to be using is the pen and Greer uh, photo paper and I will also be doing a separate video review on this product and the link will also be in the description down below if you want to get this product. We're going to start out using the Canva platform. Now I'm going to be using the free version Canva, Canva platform today. And let's, if you can follow along, go ahead and follow along with me. Okay, we're going to click custom size. And then we're going to change the measurement from pixels to inches. And then we're going to type in 1.3 in the width box. And then we're going to go ahead and type in 1.8 in the height box. And then we're going to click create new design. And once it, yeah. And once it pops up, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, design our background. I'm just going to do a simple keychain today. So I'm just going to do like a solid color background. And so I, there we go. I'm going to change the color to like a darker color. Okay, and let's see. See, okay, now I want to go ahead and add some text. So let me click text over here to our left. And scroll down and see what kind of theme I would like. I think I'm going to go ahead and choose the... Hmm the workout theme because I kind of like that thing. I'm going to click it. There go. I'm going to go ahead and edit it to, um, I'm going to go uh, edit to say Green Family Reunion since that is the one I'm creating today. I'm going to go ahead and edit it, change the color a bit, so I'm going to press the font up there, change the color, there we go, yeah, white, a lighter color like a yellow, and this particular theme has an effect, so I'm going to go ahead and change the effect from that blue shadowy thing to the black shadow color. Now I'm going to add some elements because it's looking a little plain. So let me see. I think I'm going to do like a frame around the um, text there. So let me scroll down and find a frame kind of shape that I would like to add to this. I'm going to click the square shape. And adjust it how I want it to frame it around the text. I'm 
Okay. Just keep adjusting it. Now, I think I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna go ahead and edit my text, but um, because I added a component of uh, the shape on it, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and press position and uh, position it backward so I can edit the text that was behind the shape. And I'm gonna add the year 2022 on here underneath the green family in. And reposition it. The shape and the text here. All right, I'm doing the front and back of this keychain, so I'm let me go ahead and um, that was the first side. Let me press Add Page so I can design the second image for the other side of the keychain. All right, let me go ahead and add an element here. Uh, the theme of our family unit is we are family so I'm gonna go ahead and press elements and type in family and see what pops up and see if there's anything I like to add to this uh, design page I think I want to do like silhouettes of families and add it to this um, keychain design so let me scroll down and find like a good silhouette to add to this yeah, and I do like the black um, color of this silhouette, so I'm gonna keep that and just move it and adjust it how I want it on this page. And I think I'm gonna add some other ones to this. This one looks good. You can just play with your design so you can get it how you want it to look on your design page here. Adjust your elements. I think I want to add some text now. Because hmm, that looks great. So, well, let me go ahead and change the background first. Okay, yeah, I think I want to change the background color. Because make it, yeah, change it to a lighter color to make the elements pop. So that's nice. Now let me add some text to this. Let me. I think I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the first design. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the workout theme. And I'm going to adjust it and type in we are family. Then I'm gonna go ahead and edit the color because I don't think I like the like because you can barely see it if it's the same color as the background kind of. So let me go ahead and adjust it a little bit and change the color. Change 
needs to fit also that's behind it. They got it blue, but let me see what yellow looks like. Hmm. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, let me add just a little bit more and add elements to this. Let me go to elements and I'm thinking I'm going to do it like a heart. Since we are a living family, let me add a heart to this. So let me go to shapes, see all lines of shapes and go to the heart shape here. I do like how they automatically have like the green color on there. <laughs> Let me adjust this heart. Okay, let me position it backward behind the text. There you go, because I want the text to be inside the shape. Let me position. Okay, now let me edit the text down. It readjust it a little bit. Take the heart and so we can just have a little bit more dimension here so I'm change the color of this heart to like a bright red yeah that pops that great I'm gonna adjust it out so it'll be bigger than the other heart Adjust it there. And then we'll position it backward behind the text and the other heart. So I'm going to press position backward and then backward again. Oh, look at that. See, that's nice. Gives a little bit more, uh, a great, better feel right there. Yeah, I like that. Now, but I'm not thinking I'm liking the dark, uh, black on the lettering though. So on the text so I think I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of the text also so I'm gonna click this text and change the color let's try white Ooh, yes that gives it more yeah that pops really good really really good I like that then I'm also gonna change the backing effect to like a black so and get it more stand out a little bit more. Yes, I like that. Yes. That looks really good. Let me go back to this other image. Mm, it's looking a little bit. Because I'm looking at this one. This is really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the other image up here. See if I can do a little bit more with this. Uh -huh. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of this text too. From that yellow to um, that white. Yeah, see, that looks really good against that dark green. Uh, let me change this, uh, the color of this uh, element also. From that yellow to that white. Yes, I like that. Yeah, that's nice. If 
room back of this keychain design. Um, but I think I need to add more a little bit of dimension to the first one. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and add a, uh, another uh, square frame to it. So let me click the frame and I'm gonna duplicate it. Well, I'm gonna adjust it first. Let me go ahead and adjust a little bit. Yeah, and let's duplicate it. Give it a little bit more to this image. Yeah, you just play with your images. Just get it exactly how you want it. Like I say, like I said, I'm just doing really, really simple designs today for this keychain. Nothing really elaborate. So I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust this other frame out here. Alright, that looks good. I'm going to change the color of this. Just so it won't be um, so uniform. Yeah, light green. That looks great. Uh, I think I'm going to add one more frame. So let me duplicate it. And adjust it. So it'd be like add more depth and more dimension to this. Mm -hmm. Now that I've uh, got my designs how I want them to look, now we're gonna go ahead and download this and save it to our computer download these images so what I'm gonna do is click share up here to my right and I always like to choose a PNG especially when I'm printing on photo paper and now I'm gonna press uh, download and then once it's downloaded and saved to my computer all right, now we're going to click home so we can get back to the home page of Canva because now we're going to be creating the actual keychain insert sheets. So you just can be have more than one uh, keychain uh, design on the sheets, especially when you're doing like maybe uh, more than one keychain. Like for instance, for this one, I'm doing like probably about 50. So I'm going to do an insert sheet. We're going to click create a design. Then I'm going to click fly flyer portrait. The size of like just a regular a letter size uh size of the regular size paper All right let it load up then i'm gonna go ahead over here to the right and click upload and upload the images my two keychain images that i just created And <laughs> does that little water thing over there to the side, that blue thing? Make sure and then when it's gone, then it means they're completely uploaded. Then I'm gonna click the, my first image over here, and then I'm gonna scale it down to the size of uh, the uh, keychain uh, insert size, which is that 1.3 by 1.8. Yes, 
Get it down. 1.3 by 1.8. There we go. Then we're going to move it up to the top of the page. And duplicate this image. And we're just going to duplicate it, keep duplicating it till we fill the whole page. And um, when I do it like this, I think, believe it be it's going to be like 25 images per page. So it's be like 25 keychain inserts per page once you do it like that. Then we'll push add page and do the exact same thing to the other image. Scale it down to the keychain insert size 1.3 by 1.8. Move it up to the top and duplicate it to fill the page. It'd be like 25 per page. And yeah, once you get both of them filled. We're going to go ahead and download them. Click share. And I also like to, once I click share, I like to make sure it's the PNG format. And then I'm going to click download. And then print them out. And I, like I said, I'm using photo paper because it just looks better on photo paper to me. I mean, can, you can also use plain um, copy paper if you like. But once you print them out, you can just cut all your inserts out. And once you get all your inserts cut out, you can just place them into your keychain holder. That's the first side. The second side and then pop the top on and there you go you got your keychain look really nice came out really really good This is a nice little gift for it. Um, all occasions, not just reunions. You can do it for a business promotional um, events or just events in general. This particular chain comes like little baggies, individual baggies for each keychain. So this will would I be? This is what I will be putting in the uh, reunion goodie bag. So each reunion goodie bag will have a keychain in their individual baggie looking like this. And this is just a nice little gift. All right, you did it. If you follow along and made it to the end, you did it. You have a nice little keychain for your goodie bags for any occasion. Now, if you decide not to do it your, this project yourself, I can do it for you. Uh, you can visit my XC shop. The link will be in the description box below. I will design, print, and um, insert your designs into these keychains and ship them off to you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.